are you not getting pregnant despite having unprotected and regular sexual contact with your partner on your ovulation day hello everyone welcome back to my channel it's your favorite nurse mary in today's video i am just going to be answering a question that i have been getting you know a lot of women are worried about the fact that they've been trying to conceive and it is not happening so now i am going to be explaining the reason you are actually not getting pregnant it is not because something is wrong with you all right so stay tuned and ensure you watch this video to the end if you are new on this channel consider subscribing right away and please give this video a thumbs up and turn on notifications so you get an update when there's a new video and for my returning subscribers i want to say thank you so much for sticking with me i am very grateful now why are you not getting pregnant despite having unprotected and regular sexual contact with your partner on your ovulation days now understand that ovulation is just one day the days leading up to ovulation and the days immediately after ovulation are your fertile days now you can decide to have unprotected sexual contact with your partner all through the fertile window and even on the day of ovulation you can decide to even um, meet with your partner several times a day to increase your chances but it is still possible that after all of this you don't get pregnant so a lot of women are so worried i was regular with my partner all through the fertile window i ensured that i didn't miss out any chance of getting hold of the egg after release but unfortunately i didn't fall pregnant why is there something wrong with me do i have blood tubes do i have an infection is my husband's sperm okay these are some of the questions that crosses our minds when these things happen now the chances of conception in a circle is just about 15 to 25 percent some scientists say it's 15 to 20 percent and while some consider it to be 20 to 25 percent so you discover that this is very low and um, if you have tried for up to a year and it's your first time trying you've not had any child before then you need to go see your gynecologist and if you have had a child before and now you are trying for a second one or a third one and you have tried up to six months without achieving conception then you need to go get checked with your healthcare provider it is possible that something may have gone wrong along the line now this leads us to secondary and primary infertility now primary infertility actually an infertility that results when an individual have not conceived before that is it is your first time trying to conceive and then you're having difficulty that is termed primary infertility now secondary infertility actually happens when an individual has conceived before you have either had a child before you have actually achieved pregnancy before but now you are trying and then you are not getting pregnant that is what secondary infertility is all about all of this can actually get checked when you go see your healthcare provider your gynae all right your tubes will be checked to determine if they are patent your womb will be checked for endometriosis and all other forms of reproductive uh, tract infections and infection can actually block a woman's chances of conceiving all of these factors will be put into consideration and then your partner will also be checked sperm count done sperm quality sperm motility sperm morphology all of this will be checked to ensure that he is also fit now when all of this is done then you will be able to arrive at a conclusion as to why you are not achieving conception as at the time you, you were trying all of this should not get you worked up because stress is so one of the factors that can actually reduce your ability for conception ensure that you avoid stress as much as possible now you can actually do this 
by understanding the fact that there are other assisted means of having your own babies like the IVF, the IUI and even adoption. All of these are means that can actually help you become a mother or a father even without um, the natural conception. While you are at this, you need to uh, actually consider ways to help you boost your fertility, things to do to increase your chances of conception. And this involves exercising to make sure that you are fit, eating healthy, maintaining healthy weight, not being overweight or underweight, but ensuring that you are maintaining a moderate weight per time. All right, and also eating of healthy meals, a lot of fruits, vegetables, are very important when you're trying to conceive fruits like strawberries blueberries avocado and all the different fruits that contains folic acid and other important vitamins all right also ensure that you are taking folic acid if possible one month before conception and a month into uh, the pregnancy so ensure that you take folic acid as much as possible during your period of trying to conceive all of these will help to also increase your chances of conception help boost ovulation and also the production of quality eggs as well all right guys so that is it so for those that have been trying and not achieving conception please don't give up and don't allow yourself to be stressed out because of it the chances of conception in a circle is just about 20 to 25 percent so the fact that you've not achieved pregnancy in this circle does not mean that you are not going to get pregnant continue to try and you will actually get pregnant because there are so many people that try for one year two years and then and end up conceiving naturally so the chances of you conceiving might be low per circle but you will eventually fall pregnant so thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like this video and also drop a comment i'll see you again in the next one